At the Medical Society of New Jersey's advocacy conference in May, Dr. Robert Brenner, the chief medical officer of Summit Medical Group, moderated a panel to discuss innovative ways to manage risk in payment programs for medical care. The Summit Medical Group is uh, involved, about 52% of our patients are involved in some form of risk uh, arrangement. And what I mean by that is that we're we're in a shared saving model on the commercial side with several payers. Um, We're involved in uh, patient-centered medical home initiatives called the CPCI. Those are basically arrangements where uh, uh, the group is getting paid a lesser amount, putting some of that payment at risk, Uh, based on its ability to lower the cost of care and improve quality. And our major goal is to to do such. We think that that aligns with our communities and uh, and our patients to uh, improve their quality and keep that cost lower. Uh, Across this country, it is not sustainable to have the cost of care continue to rise like like it has. So we believe as a group that entering these types of arrangements with partners in collaboration with our uh, local insurance companies uh, to, to come up with those kinds of solutions is very important. And Dr. Brenner said the implementation of the team approach to care has improved cost and quality for patients in the Summit Medical Group's practices. Just from our experience with the, our patient-centered medical home, we can see that the quality has uh, of care has gone up. We're, we're uh, in the 90th uh, percentile across the country in most of the metrics that you would measure in quality, uh, as well as we've been uh, some of the lowest in, in the pilots that we've been involved in in the cost of care. A lot of that has to to do with keeping people healthy and out of the hospital, dealing with the chronic illnesses that often uh, ha- are what we call rising risk patients that get into the high risk environment where they're starting to go to the hospital and keeping them healthy enough so they stay out of the hospital, they stay out of the subacute facilities, and uh, we try to keep them healthy. That team approach has been working for those things. And Dr. Brenner said he recognizes it may be particularly challenging for smaller practices who are struggling with contract and rate negotiations to become flexible and innovative in their risk management solutions. The smaller practice is it's very difficult to have the infrastructure to help lower the cost. Lowering cost and and improving quality, uh, you know, I'm sure and I'm certain that a lot of my colleagues out in smaller practices are doing the best they can and providing very caring and high quality uh, care as well. But to to do this on a mass uh, population and a large population requires an infrastructure, such as IT infrastructure, it requires care management, and then also forming patient-centered medical home, and, and, and so forth. So it is, it is much more difficult as the smaller practices. So um, my advice is actually uh, integration and consolidation, whether in single specialty or multi-specialty groups, because I think it gives physicians uh, leverage in, in putting their resources together to make these things happen. Thank you.